is everybody doing tonight? Oh, feeling good. You may or may not know I'm bipolar. And basically what that means is there's two sides of me. If the one side of me is snorting fuck cocaine, you can bet your ass the other side of me is fucking his brains out. <laughs> and friends, when those two sides come together, I call it the perfect fucking storm. <laughs> so I mentioned there's two sides to me. There's Scotty Lee Crom, and then we have Sid. So who do you guys want to hear from first? a downside to using coke and one of the most annoying things about using cocaine when you're having sex is it takes forever to come forever <laughs> but when you do it's like hitting the money pit I remember this time I was living in the basement apartment right 1-800 Come over and fuck my brains out. We're hot in hell in the bed, fucking doom blow, and couldn't get a heart on, right? So we decided, just says, let's just watch each other masturbate, right? Now I got a 400 pound roommate that lives upstairs, and his bedroom is right above. Right? <laughs> Jesus, shit, fucking going at it. Crazy, crazy. Like, we're fucking four playing for an hour, we're sweating, my fucking arms killing me, you know? And we're going at it and going at it. And I'm almost there. Yes, we're both ready to fuck go at the same goddamn time. <laughs> Bam! Fuck. My roommate falls out of his bed while he was fucking sleeping. <laughs> Me and kill that goddamn orgasm. <laughs> yeah, I wish uh, I could remember that. <laughs> Yeah, that was all him. That had nothing to do with me. I more handled the uh, drug portion of the relationship. He handles the sex. I handle the drugs. Do you guys want to hear a good drug story? Well, maybe more like a life lesson when you're using drugs. Do not, under any circumstances, mix your drugs. Big no-no. <laughs> So I hook up with my guy. He had no idea I had $3,500 in my pocket though. And I pick up my usual ball of coke. Then we're doing some chit chat because you don't want to get out of the car right away. You know, you don't want to make it look obvious you're buying dope, right? At least that's what he thinks. I never got paranoid, but you know, dealers, right? So we're chit chatting. He was telling me he had some meth. I'm like, meth? That sounds well I've heard about it. I said my teeth aren't gonna fall off very easy. No 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 man you like it, it's like coke. I'm like, oh hey, fuck it. I'll take a ball. So I got a ball of coke and a ball of meth. So he reaches down to his cold soul and he pops a pill. And I said, fuck's that? He says, well, What speed? I'm like, oh yeah, how much are those? He tells me, I'm like, fuck, I'll take a hundred of them. <laughs> so I get back to my place, clunk, 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 ball of meth, ball of coke, which is 3.5 grams to the layman, and I got 100 speeders. I'm like, hmm, what should I do? I'll tell you what you're going to do. We're going to crush all this stuff up, mix it in the one great big fucking pile. See how much money got left, and see how many fucking women we can order this goddamn weekend. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. So then Sid takes over and dials the phone number, and we're off to the races. Not gonna bore you guys with the details of what happened over that two day period. But needless to say, come Monday morning, 
called my boss up and I said, I'm going to be a little late. Because what had happened is, uh, due to extraordinary circumstances, I didn't have a vehicle anymore, so I had to bust it in, right? So, showered, shaved, shit, eat, whatever. Felt fine. So I get to the bus stop, and I'm sitting there, and I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. All of a sudden, everything got blurry. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, I just, you know, I just thought it was just like that shit that gets in your eyes. You know, I shake my head. All of a sudden, the sweat just starts pouring off my body. I mean, just fucking just like drenched, like out of the blue. I'm like, I just got out of the shower. I'm like, oh, oh fuck, I don't feel so good. <laughs> so I'm like, then, I, then my mind's starting to, to, to go. I'm like, oh, fuck, I just told my boss going to be late. I, I, I can't, can't call in sick now. Like, so I, I stand up and say, okay, well, let me just like try and walk this off, walk this shit off, right? So I'm kind of like pacing back and forth in front of like that fucking bus shelter, right? Back and forth, back and forth. It was all of a sudden, it was like, and I mean fucking loud, like. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I can't stop. I couldn't even move. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, what the hell is going on? So now I'm displaying all these symptoms of actually being high. And I just, I couldn't fucking move, my, my jaw was locked. And I'm like, just, 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 what the fuck is going on? And I was like, outburst my frustration. This massive pile of the wettest, steamiest, stinkiest shit fucking shot out of my ass like a cannon. <laughs> I'm fucking standing there, like, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on with me? What the fuck is going on? I'm fucking sweating, I'm fucking shaking, I'm fucking pants, I'm fucking, fucking shit, fuck. What am I gonna do? So I'm just like, sorry, I'm sorry, panicking. I'm just, okay, my fuck is dying like this never fucking happened here before. Like, you know, like, I can handle the usual cocaine, like, hangover and symptoms and shit like that, but this is just fucking out of control. <laughs> so I just, I started walking home like, like this. <laughs> I'm walking about seven blocks like this. I finally make it home. <laughs> Sitting down on my deck. Sitting in my own shit. Fucking soaked. Hyperventilating. This fucking, I can't go to fucking work. I gotta make this fucking phone call. Well, I don't make this phone call, but I can't fucking talk. <laughs> oh my god. So friends, don't mix your drugs.